Guess who it is outside during a storm once again. Flashback to a week ago in Oregon. Not me out in the snow or frozen rain or ice. I'm trying to avoid, I'm trying to stay in the dry patches. I'm trying to stay in the dry patches because them little ice patches, like on like that side of the road, slippery. Slipper, slipper, slippery. Twenty twenty three. I need to buy myself a car. I know I'm already inside of a car, but I'm not inside of my own car. I had to wait two days, and now I'm outside during a storm or in a um, a rising storm, a storm that's on the way. They said just don't be outside by two o'clock. It's like nine thirty right now, so I'm trying to get all this done. In the next couple of hours so i could just be at home chilling and not caught up in these on these roads so but i'm putting it out there 2023 buying a car um i gave my car that i paid in full to my dad and um i just i haven't had a car for over well over five years and it was to save money it was to um not stress because my neighborhood is very stressful when it comes to parking not being able to find parking and then worrying about break-ins or finding people inside my car which has happened uh twice uh, and that's not fun i still have like ptsd from that every time i get inside my car i look behind me you know just to make sure no one's inside um and even recently the lock on my mom's car wasn't working when i was using it and it didn't lock properly so the next morning all the stuff like the car got broken into um so maybe a car isn't the best idea because <laughs> it's gonna add more stress so but i know i know it's gonna benefit me financially i can't just let those things control or stop me or limit me from what i know i need so and i used to Oh, I was like, oh, it has to, if I get my next car, it has to be this, it has to be that, it has to be an Audi, you know, Lamborghini or nothing. Like, is that even, that's not even close to the budget. Like, I couldn't even afford a tire on a Lamborghini right now. Like, <laughs> and it's not that serious. If I really wanted to get a car like that, I'll go rent it. Even I've been watching videos on people who have owned those types of cars and they pretty much end up selling them back or trading them in so you get the experience and then you realize how much money you're actually investing into that car that is depreciating and i mean it, most hyper cars don't depreciate but living where i live after what i just said unless i have a garage there's, it doesn't make sense to have that type of car and what you could do with that money someone like me what i could do with money like that is beyond what a car could ever do for me in my lifetime so my priorities have changed um i i looked i googled the other day because i was like i don't want to spend a lot on a car i just want to get to a to b without having to wait to borrow a car or to call a car or to um you know just rearrange my life around everyone else's i just want to be able to get up and go when i please and possibly turn my car into a business there's so many possibilities with having a car nowadays that um i want to explore i'm going to explore and i googled uh what i say like lowest like least expensive car or um cheapest car and i don't mean cheap by like you know easily like spirit airlines cheap i mean like what is the like the lowest car I could possibly buy and what came up was like the uh, Mitsubishi Mirage I've never owned a Mitsubishi I've only owned Hondas and my Dodge Charger and now I'm in a Toyota but either way car 2023 it's going to help also build up more credit history 
because if you watched previous videos, you see me talk about that, how I've been fo so focused on running my business and staying debt free. You know, after I paid off my car, paid off my student loans, I haven't had a credit card in over 10 years. When I went to go apply for a house, um, for when I went to go get pre-approved for a loan to purchase a house, the lender, very nice lender, was um, very patient with me and was like, hey, do you have any credit history? And I said, yeah, you know, credit scores in the 700s, what's, what's the issue? He goes, no, you don't have any credit history from the last like five plus years. And I was like, what? And I had just paid off my student loan last year. So that completely wiped off any history entirely. And I was like, oh, are you serious? He's like, yeah. So I don't know. I went and immediately applied for a credit card thinking that would fix it. It didn't. It actually set me back um, three more months. So now I'm approaching like the nine month mark in terms of getting a secured card reestablishing credit I, I requested a refund for my student loan that I paid off last year um, because now there there's the student loan forgiveness so um, you know I'm in a much better place financially in terms of like credit and things like that so I'm gonna start just elevating that that next process and a car is is what's speaking to me right now in terms of what's next and I really don't want to spend more than like oh gosh, 200 well, with gas and maintenance and things like that, like two to three hundred dollars a month on a car. It's not that serious to me. I just need to get, like I said, from point A to point B and occasionally like a long distance trip here and there. But other than that, just something cute, compact, as long as the radio is good, the speakers sound good and I can connect all my music to it. It really doesn't matter. And, you know, it has a little kick has a little kick once you drive a dodge charger with a v8 engine it's hard to really go back to any other car so anyway i gotta go do this laundry but this is me being consistent guys i think the next phase of this project in terms of daily vlogging is going to be um experimenting with lighting and camera angles visual aspects of how i want the vlogs to present themselves and how I can use those skills to elevate even my real estate channel, um, help other people, pr pr provide it as a service to other people, um, and, and work on my editing skills as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to go do this laundry. Stay safe. A storm is a brewing. That was the word I was looking for earlier. Brewing. <sighs> it's too early. I haven't had breakfast or water, so... See you. Day shopping. I just realized I didn't put a clip of me shopping yesterday at Trader Joe's trying to vlog. Um, here I am trying it again. And gotta get things, gotta get things. I was reminded yesterday that the power was actually go out. But here I am getting all the worst snacks you can miss on again. update the storm is a ruin oh man i'm soaked but finished my doomsday snack shopping and uh headed home another vlog another day another vlog tomorrow <laughs>